In this video, we're going to be learning how to do something really simple and really easy for loading images in JavaScript. You can see here, I have a really big image. It's seven megabytes in size. It's a royalty free image. You can see it's here. I'll put a link to this in the description. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning how to load this image in the background so that we don't actually see it. And we're going to let it fade in from sort of a blurred image whenever it's loaded and the user can actually view it. Because if I refresh now, you can see this slows down my page load time massively. It makes the page take almost two seconds to load. And what we're gonna be doing is learning how to run it in the background so the page loads really quickly. So the way we do that is I have two images. I have a big image and a small image. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna load in the small image. So if I load in the small image now, you can see it takes way less time to load, but it's gone all fuzzy. It only took 72 milliseconds to load. And I have caching disabled, which means this is downloading from the internet every single time. And you can see it's coming from howcode.github.io. And then we have small pick. So we're going to use some JavaScript. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and create the JavaScript code. So what we're going to do is we're going to say var image is equal to document.images zero because document.images gives us an array containing every image on the page and we only want the first image which is this one and we're getting that with the zeroth index next we want to get the big image which is var big image is going to be equal to document dot create element and we're going to create a new image element and then what we're going to do is we're going to say big image dot on load is equal to a function so whenever this image loads we're going to run this function essentially and this function is going to say image dot source which is this image here, which is our small image dot source, which is the source attribute is going to be equal to this dot source, which is our big image. So the source is going to be overwritten with the source of this big image, which is this one here. And then now if I say a big image dot source, and I paste in this URL here. And then I refresh, you can see if we go to our HTML, the image changed when it loaded, if I refresh again, you can see it's small, now it's just changed to big. But if I go to network, you can see it took 1.92 seconds to load. And if I refresh, you can see that this spinner stays up here for ages. So what we want to do is trick the user into thinking the page loaded quicker than it did. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say set timeout, which is a special function in JavaScript that runs after the page is loaded. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a function and I'm going to run it after one second. And in here, in this function, I'm going to copy that. And I'm just going to run this line here, which downloads the image. If I refresh now, you can see that the page loaded way quicker. And then after a second, you can see that it started downloading the image. So if I change it to something like 50 milliseconds, which is such a small amount of time, the user's never going to notice. But if I refresh now, you can see the spinner disappeared quicker. And then we start downloading the image. To the user, it looked like the image downloaded quicker. And if we refresh again, you can see there's the fuzzy image. And now it's going to change to the clearer image. But what we want to do is we want to add a special blur effect so that the smaller image is blurred and then the bigger image sort of unblurs it whenever it's downloaded. So to do that, what I'll do is I'll create a CSS class. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say dot blur and I will say filter blur and we'll put a blur of something like 50 pixels. Uh, so what I'll do there is I'll say class equals blur and that way the image will be blurred when it's small. And then if I scroll down here and when we load the image, what I'll do is I will say image dot class name equals nothing. So that way we're deleting blur class, which will unblur the image. So now if I refresh, you can see the image is all blurred uh, there. It's loaded in there. The blur is probably a bit too big. So if I just right click on that, I'll put in the filter myself. I'll put in say 10 pixels. And there we can see the blur. It's on 40 at the minute, that's probably too much. So we'll put on say 10 pixels of blur. And then finally, what we want to do is we want to animate it. So to animate it, what we want to do is simply say transition all one second. You can see it takes one second to blur and unblur the photo. So what I'll do is I'll just copy that and we'll paste that transition there. And actually what I'll do is copy and paste this and from blur, I'll just change it to no blur. Because if we just delete the class on its own, it'll delete the transition and then we will lose the effect. So we want to change this to class name no blur. Now if we refresh, you can see it's blurred. And there it's just unblurred. And if we increase the duration to, for example, five seconds, you can see it's starting to slowly unblur the photo. And we'll leave it at two maybe. And if we refresh one more time, once the image is loaded, you can see it blurs into focus and there we have the clear image. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Reddit. And I'll see you next time.